Claude just released Claude Sonnet 3.7, and this is supposedly the best one for coding right now. Grok 3 just came out, but Claude 3.7 Sonnet is on a whole different level. Check it out. First, I'm an engineer. I'm Kat, I'm a product manager. We love seeing what people build with Claude, especially with coding, and we wanna make Claude better at coding for everyone. We built some tools, one of which we're sharing today. We're launching Claude Code as a research preview. Quad Code is an agentic coding tool that lets you work with Quad directly in your terminal. We're going to show you an example of it in action. So we have a project here. It's a Next.js app. Let's open it up in an instance of Quad Code to all of the files in this repository. So say I was asked to replace this left sidebar with a chat history, and I'm also going to add a new chat button. I'm going to ask Quad to help me out here. We haven't specified any files or paths and Claude's already finding the right files to update by itself. Claude can also show its thinking, and we can see how it's decided to tackle this problem. Claude's asking me if I want to accept these changes. I'll say yeah. Now Claude's updating the navbar, adding a button and icons as well. Next, it's updating the logic to ensure the saving state works correctly. After a bit, Claude completes the task. Here's a summary of what it's done. Let's take a look at the app. So we're seeing a new chat button and new chat history section on the left. Let's check if I can start a new chat while keeping the previous one saved. I'll try out the new chat button too. Great, it's all working. As you see in that video, you see that they are talking about the capabilities for Claude 3.7, where Claude 3.7 is able to be accessed through the API and you can use it right in your computer terminal. You can actually write code and the requirements for the system isn't all that much. You would need an operating system of Mac OS 10.15 plus, Ubuntu 20.4 or Windows. You also have a hardware requirement of four gigabytes of RAM and they use the software of Node.js, Git, GitHub, GitLab, and rip grip you also need like, internet connection and they have a like, few simple commands that you can use i may do a demo on this and setting it up and maybe we can create a game together if you like that comment down below live stream and i can set up a live stream for that but getting back into this you're able to select what folder you want to have access to claude within the terminal and you can do a few commands you can do things like bugs where it reports bugs clear the conversation also have a compact conversation, like different config modes, different help and review and clearing out the command is actually cost effective. You can even also have a compact one where it has a compact conversation to save context space. So that will actually make it cheaper for you instead of it using more tokens, which is equivalent to more money to respond to you. You can be like, I just simplify this for me. I don't need the whole detail thing, right? It also has permissions where you have a read only bash command shell where it's only using your bash scripts and then file modifications. But basically you can use this with VS code as well. And people are already making just groundbreaking different games. <laughs> Everybody loves games. And I think it's also a good example, but what I saw different than what people are making with Grok is that people are also making websites. So I saw this person made almost like a vitamin supplement website where they have just different supplements and also they have different apps that they can use. It, it had a whole landing page and it was pretty cool where you can like pull up different products and show it as you see in this example. Somebody also made animated weather cards where like when you have different weather going on, whether it's sunny, rainy or snowy, you can have the weather cards be a little bit animated. They also made just different things in general. I saw somebody made this 3D game where it's almost like Minecraft clone and somebody made a 3D city simulator, which people were making with Grok 3, don't get me wrong, but these look significantly better. It has always been a debate that even with JetGP and Gemini, now Grok 3, but they always say that the best ones are always usually Claude for programming at least. 
I also have an example here where you see that they're asking for in-depth analysis of a graph. So it has advanced visual capability so it can understand data, pictures, diagrams that you put inside of it and answer the questions based off this advanced vision capability. And it doesn't take long at all and this is still in beta. And somebody also made this uh, a various type of games. It was like a 3D. So this is Claude Cart. This is a Claude 3.7 Sonnet 3D generated game from one prompt in the browser. This is literally all the old model could do. You can see I'm racing against three CPUs here. So obviously this is just like really simple and silly, but the what I'm basically trying to do here is I'm just trying to figure out how creative this thing is in ways that aren't like building React apps. Uh, you can see we even got a race complete. So like this is a game that's like Marble Blast Gold, if anybody remembers that from like the OG Mac days, um, which is pretty crazy. Uh, so we have this like platforming marble game, right? And all these are pretty much like this one, I think was like two iterations or something like that. Um, this one's the least impressive one I did, but this was just like a 2D platformer. Um, but yeah, I'm racer. Some was like Mario type of platformer. And then like, one was like this ball one where you have this ball and you're trying to like maneuver the ball into the end of the levels. It's almost like a mobile game. I'm pretty sure you've seen that type of game before. And they did all this with Claude, which is, I think, very impressive. Here's a comparison between Claude 3.7 Sonnet and Benchmarks compared to, well, the rest of the cast and crew. They have OpenAI, O1, and O3 Mini High, and DeepSeek R1 and Grok 3 Beta. And as you see, pretty much Claude does very well with graduate level reasoning and does very well with instruction following compared to other models. You definitely see that they have multilingual Q&A as pretty high as well. But the vision and reasoning is kind of on par with Grok 3 and math and problem solving is pretty high amongst all of them. But what they said they focused on wasn't just trying to clear benchmarks. So even though I'm bringing up the benchmarks, I don't think that's what we should be focusing on. They said they focus more on, well, real world execution. Having Claude actually be able to code really well or do a task really well. They had one where they did a Pokemon simulator as a benchmark to see how far Claude could get in a Pokemon game and they did it over their different game different models and Claude 3.7 of course did the best there I guess with understanding how to play a game and, and doing that which is a benchmark I guess it's kind of funny that they're doing Pokemon as a benchmark but that is like human input understanding the environment some people couldn't even get out the room but it's still a good benchmark though I'm definitely interested in getting my hands dirty with Claude 3.7. I was able to make a game with Grok 3. So we'll see what I can do with Claude 3.7. If you want to keep up with the latest and greatest AI news, I think you should definitely like and subscribe. With that being said, your boy Dex and I, Dexter, out.